Auntie Lisa's life lessons. Um, this is not my first ever podcast, but my first solo podcast. So bear with me as I um, navigate this wonderful world of podcasting. Uh, I'm glad to have you with me. Let me give you a little bit of who I am and what I'm doing. I don't know where to start. Um, I am Lisa. I am three years old. <laughs> I have a wealth of experience behind me. I am your favorite aunt. I adopt everybody as a niece or nephew. And I have a wealth of life behind me to give you advice and life lessons that I have learned. Um, let me tell you a few things about me. I am a lover of animals. I do not know if you're watching this why we're getting brighter and lighter going on in the video. Uh, we'll figure that out in a while. You and I are going to discover this together. Um, but I'm a lover of animals. I am a lover of spiders. I have a Facebook page. If you ever want to check it out, it's called Spider Chick Lisa Hale. Uh, love spiders. I know that sounds weird, especially for a chick, but I dig the spood dudes. Um, if you ever have fears of spiders, let me know. You can email me at spiderchicklisahale at gmail.com. I will always answer your questions. Let's see, what else can I tell you? I am an aunt. There's a reason why this is Auntie Lisa's life lessons. Uh, I'm an aunt to some wonderful people, Christy and Jacob and Landon. I am a mom to Denver and Diani and Alexa and Celestia, the stepmom to all four of those, but I consider myself mom. Um, let's see here. I'm adopted mom, an adopted aunt to so many people. I, I just have so much love to give. I'm a very maternal figure. And I'm the cool aunt. I'm the aunt that people would come to and say, Lisa, this is going to happen. And I need your help so that it can happen safely. I was that aunt, all right? That's why these are Aunt Lisa's life lessons. Yes, my sister knows about this, so I can tell this story. One of my nephews would come to me, Aunt Lisa. My girlfriend and I, but we need protection. Aunt Lisa would be the one who would have to go and, because, you know, come on, we don't want no little babies running around, but, <sighs> so, that's why, Auntie Lisa's Life Lessons, that's the podcast, that's who I am, that's what I'm going to do. What will it be? Well, I'm thinking it could be anything. I could start off talking about a movie. Uh, if I saw a movie and I thought that you would want to see it, that could be a life lesson that day. If I found a really cool tip on cleaning the bathtub, that could be a life lesson that day. Um, if I think that there's something really, really important you need to know, that will be a life lesson. I've got a list of life lessons that I'm going to impart. Um, financial planning life lessons, uh, how to adult life lessons, how not to adult <laughs> life lessons, how to be a decent human being life lessons, um, things like that. I am all about love. Anybody who knows me will tell you that the most important thing to me is love and kindness. 
I don't like mean spirit in this. It, it's uh, no. There's no need to be mean to somebody. There's no need to try to tear down someone else to hold yourself up. That's that's not the way to do life. That's not the way to do the world. So don't do it. Um there, there's so much I wanna there's so many things that I wanna share, that I wanna impart, that I want to give to the to the world. And right now, you're the one I'm gonna give them to. Mm. Life lesson number one. And you will hear me impart this life lesson many, many, many times. Diet Coke is the nectar of the gods. FTC, this is not sponsored, by the way. Um, <laughs> I wish it was. Oh, my God. If I had just one penny for every Diet Coke I ever drank, I would be a rich, rich, rich woman. Just one penny. I'm addicted to the stuff. It is the total bomb. Say what you will about sodas being bad. Say what you will about aspartame being bad. I am addicted to Diet Coke. I know, I know it's not good for me. It is my vice. And I love it so. Okay, so I got sidetracked there. But... <laughs> You will find sometimes I do get sidetracked, but I will try to get back onto the subject at hand, which is an introduction to Auntie Lisa's Life Lessons. That's what this is, podcast number one, an introduction. Currently, I am living in Wisconsin. Formerly, I lived in Louisiana, so you will notice that I have a mishmash of an accent. Sorry, can't help that. I have gone back and forth between the South and the Midwest all of my life. Um, all of my life. I was born in Michigan, moved to Louisiana, moved to Texas, moved to Mississippi, moved to, to Wisconsin, moved to Louisiana, <laughs> moved to Wisconsin, moved to Louisiana. It's been, but Wisconsin and the Midwest is the home of my heart. And that's where I am right now. Unfortunately, my husband and son are still in Louisiana while I'm trying to get settled in the Midwest. I'm following my passion and my dreams of starting my marketing career up here, and I've still got to get everything settled. I got to get a house, I got to get the job, I got to get the, the career going, and then they will follow me up here. So oh, that's an adventure in itself. Another part of the introduction to Auntie Lisa's life lesson is follow your passions and they will lead you to adventures, but that's the only way you can make your dreams come true. I will be glad when Dave, that's my husband, and Denver, that's my son, join me. I miss them terribly, but right now I'm living with my best friend in the entire world, uh, Todd. You will hear me mention him a lot in the podcast. He is my platonic soulmate. Without him, there would not be a Lisa. There's no other way to put it. I've known him for, I want to say 20 years. It might be longer than that. It might be something like 23. But without him, I would not be here. He saved my life many, many times. And I like to think I have helped him. I know I haven't helped him as much as he has helped me, but he is my platonic soulmate. And I love him. I love him so much. I don't know what I would do without my best friend. Oh, gee, I'm going to start crying, y'all. <laughs> Everybody should have a best friend like that. You really should. Somebody that you can unload about everything, regardless of what it is. Even if it's them that's driving you crazy. Everybody should have that best friend. 
And no, the best friend is not the person that you're married to or that you're with. Because you've got to have somebody that you can complain about that person with. And I truly believe this because my husband, whom I love, I love him. I love Dave so much. I got to have somebody to complain about Dave with because Dave drives me crazy at times. And if it wasn't for Todd to say, look, Lisa, you're wrong. Or look, Lisa, he's being a total derp. derp I'd go crazy because I can't complain to Dave about Dave. He gets hurt. You know, and you don't want to hurt your partner. So, anyway. That's that. Um, Let's see, what else can I... All my podcasts are not going to be this rambly. This is just the introductory one. And I just wanted to give you a little bit about me. Give you a little bit about where I'm going. I will have topics and we will focus in on those topics. And I don't expect each podcast to be longer than 20 minutes. I'm going to keep them short so you can take them on your walks, so that you can, you can use them while you're doing dishes, cleaning the house, um, driving to work, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm going to keep them short, sweet, to the point. I've heard some podcasts that are an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, whatever. I think sometimes those get a little too long. So I'm going to keep mine between 20 and 30 minutes. I think that's an optimal time for a podcast, and that's where I'm going to keep mine at. Um, sometimes I'll have guests. Sometimes I won't. Sometimes it'll be just my opinion on something. Um, I'll try to keep them informative. I'll try to keep them funny sometimes, serious sometimes, but I hope always entertaining. So that's what we're going to do with Aunt Lisa's Life Lessons. And before I wrap it all up today, I did have one life lesson I wanted to share. Because I did this this morning. And this is what you're going to see and hear on the podcast usually. Something that happens in the day is going to trigger it. So I went on a job proposal yesterday, excuse me, and when I left, I got a Diet Coke, of course, and I noticed that my lipstick was flaking a little bit, and it was bothering me. I was like, why is my lipstick flaking? Shouldn't do that. I don't wear, wear makeup that much, but I know my lipstick shouldn't flake. It was bothering me, and then I stopped to think, well, how old is this lipstick? <laughs> and I remembered when I bought the lipstick. Now, mind you, I had lived in Louisiana for eight years before I came back to Wisconsin. I had bought that lipstick when I lived in Wisconsin. So that lipstick was at least 10 years old. No wonder it was flaking, y'all. So I had to go through my makeup collection and find all the lipsticks and or makeup that was 10 years old. Y'all, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear this. <laughs> I have got way too many lipsticks that are way outdated. Okay, Lisa's life lesson right now. Lipsticks should only last at the most two years before you throw them out, okay? Think about that. You're putting that stuff on your mouth. There's bacteria and stuff in there. They do go bad. Yes, they have preservatives in them, unless it's an all-natural brand. But, um, come on. I know I'm a cheapskate. I know I'm frugal. Okay, no, I'm cheap. Um, frugal is a not just a nice word for cheap it, 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 it doesn't even begin to describe me i mean i'm one of these people that would wash ziploc bags but come on lisa i have lipsticks here that i think are 15 years old no wonder no wonder it was flaking the 
y'all. <laughs> It doesn't matter how little you've used it. If you break the seal and the air gets in, it starts to break down. Y'all, this is bad. This is really, really bad. So, yeah, I went through the makeup collection and I said, if it's two years old or older, it has to go. Which is funny because in my makeup collection, <clears throat> everything is old. Thankfully, I've just recently started replacing everything. So I, I've got, it's either, it's either three months old or it's 10 years old. <laughs> anyway, so Lisa's life lesson today is make sure your makeup is in its prime and not too old or you're going to get bacteria and especially if it's going on your eyes or your mouth all right y'all you will hear me say this all the time it is my mantra it is my motto i live by be bold be brave be unstoppable remember i love you and you can't love anybody else unless you love yourself first. This is Auntie Lisa's Life Lessons, and I'll see you next time.